All right, all right. Let the church say amen. I hope everybody's still doing well. I want to give a shout out to you, Russell, in this video. Um, was Paul a Jew or Benjamite or was he a Roman citizen? What was Paul? Because Paul seemed like he was contradicting himself so much in the Bible. And brother, let me say that's a dynamic question. Uh, but let me say this off top because JT don't debate. And I know you, me and you don't want to call with your question. But uh, I'm saying this to these debaters that probably might look at the video. I don't debate the word of God. I leave that for the debaters. I focus on what's important. And I try to give the, you know, the answer the best way I can in the Holy Spirit. And I get out of the way. But I have to uh, say that off top because people always get mad at me when I don't respond back to certain things. And I'm saying that in this video because if you're going to look for a debate, then I'm not the one. I let folks debate about titles and color and all that, you know, to themselves. So um, I'm just going to answer you the best way I can in this. And um, it's so much said about Paul, man. People call Paul a, a false prophet and all kind of stuff. His word wasn't true. You know, Paul went against what Jesus said. Paul taught one thing. Jesus said another. But let me say this off top. It didn't matter. It didn't matter if he was a Benjamite, a Jew, or a Roman citizen. God chose him. And when God chose Paul, when he converted him from Saul to Paul, it didn't matter what his name was, what his color was, none of that stuff. God had something for him to do. And that's what I focus on. I look at what God had for the person to do and get past all the debating because it's amazing that Christ didn't sit up and debate about all kind of mess that people is doing now. So I wanted to say that off top. Now, I believe in the book of Acts, he said, um, Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus. And But when you look in, I want to say Romans, he also said that I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So, you know, you can get a, you get confused just off of that right there, most people will say. And um, Paul clearly states in, the, uh, in those verses that he was an Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin. But he also said that he was a Jew, that is, of Judah. And if you do the studying on Judah, then, you, you know, you're familiar with what I'm saying in this video, he was, you know, I was a Jew, that is, of Judah, which, like Benjamin, was of the 12 tribes, which I explained in the other video, the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, you look at the children of Jacob. And, like I say, some will say, was he a Roman citizen? Because his dad was. And did Paul contradict himself? Or was Paul a Jew born in the Roman Empire? So he was a Jew with Roman citizenship. You could say. So that's why I say when I get through with this video, you can look at it how you want. And once again, it's just food for the thought, not debating. You know, we just we just trying to uh, answer your question the best way we know how. And then it's each to their own. You know, you can believe what you want to believe. But like I said, it don't matter what he was. You know, God used him to do great things with. And the question I always, you know, look at is, uh, what was Paul talking about? Was he talking about family or religion? of family and religion. Since we got all this debating about religion, so to answer these questions, we have to kind of just look at it like this too because it seemed like for the Jews, when he was, his name was Saul, let me say it like that. But when he was converted and when he, you know, went toward the Gentiles, he was Paul, if that can make sense to you. And that's why I say he was a Pharisee. When you, when, you, when you just, you know, break it down, Paul was a Pharisee because Paul was the greatest persecutor of the Christians. And he killed many of them and put many of them in the prison. So that's why I say, was he a Pharisee? He, I mean, he was a Pharisee of Judah. Judah had two meanings, you know. It meant ancestry and people descended from Judah. But it also meant those of the kingdom of Judah, which was composed of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin and part of Levi. So the religion of the kingdom of Judah was Jewish. Paul's ancestry was of Benjamin. You got a great debate. You know, was Paul, this is why you always had a debate. Was Paul under the law? Was Paul trying to change the law? You know, all kind of mess, man. And, and that's why I say a lot of people say Paul's religion was of Judah. That is, he was, you know, by religion. So by religion, people say that he was a Jew. And Paul's nationality was of the kingdom of Judah, which was politically composed of the tribe of Judah. And Benjamin and the part of Levi, that's why you hear people arguing about, well, Paul was a black man. Paul wasn't black. Paul was this. All the stuff that don't really have, it, I mean, 
What's all the arguing gonna do in the long run? And people might find out he wasn't he wasn't now one of the colors that they thought. He might be darker than what they thought. He might be lighter than what they thought. You don't know. You never met him. I say the same thing about Jesus. Ain't none of us never none of us seen his face. You don't he might be light skinned, he might be dark skinned, he might be too dark, he might be jet black dark. I don't know, man. I get past a whole that. And um somebody asked me this a while back, was uh how is it that while all the Jews are Israelites, not all Israelites are Jews. I let people answer their own question. That's why I say certain things I'm not going to get into because when you say something, somebody else is going to try to prove it. And then next thing you know, well, I'm not debating with you, but you is. You're going back and forth. Paul said in the first Corinthians, look at this. I did a video about this when Paul made himself a slave to others. And I think that was in first Corinthians. And um, Paul said, I became as a Jew. See, this is why a lot of people get confused also. He said, I became as a Jew that I might gain the Jews to them that was what? Under the law. He said, as under the law that I might gain them that are under the law. But I'm not under the law. See, this is why you got this confusion. That's why I say it does not matter. God chose him whether he was a Jew, a Benjamin, a Benjamin Knight, uh, Mike, a Roman citizen, he was chose by God, and he was rejected also by many. He was put in a prison. He was stoned. They left him for dead, just like the Jews rejected Christ. It didn't matter what color Christ was with all this debate, they still rejected Christ. And Christ was a Jew. You see what I'm saying? He was a Jew and was rejected by his own. So that's why I get past all this stuff about color and everything. That's why I can't really see, brother, how people sit up. And debate about things like the color or who is right with their theology when none of us know it all. None of us know it all. Ain't there something though? They, they, they debate about what color he was. I mean, who, what, which name to call him? Like people do me all the time. Don't say God. Don't say Jesus. Don't his name ain't none of that. Man, God, God told me I can call him whatever I like to call him, long as it's holy to him. And people don't understand it. This is why I always tell people, stop trying to make me do what you do. You are not me. I'm not you. If you want to say most high, say most high. Knock yourself out. I love it anyway. If I say God, if I say Lord, if I say my Savior, my healer, my deliverer, faithful, the true and holy, it don't matter. All of those names are, are he's all the above that I can even think of calling him. And I mean calling him good names. I ain't talking about cursing God out and all this stuff. That's why I have a, uh, quite a few people on here, man, get mad at me when I say thank you, Lord, for another day. Don't say Lord. I, let me tell you something. I know all the English names, all the Hebrew and, 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 and Latin names, whatever, Arabic, whatever you want to say. I have studied all of this stuff, and you know what? That's why I leave people to debating, brother. So I hope this makes sense to you in this video because I focus on what's important, man. I focus on the laws. And I focus on salvation and reaching out like Christ did. Just like the disciples, he chose 12 uncommon men. The Lord will pick who you least expect. So stop all the fussing and, and being ignorant with all this debating and focus on what the word truly says. Get past color. Get past name titles. Get past teaching one-sided stories. And tell the whole truth. God bless you.